Hi everyone, my name is Jason and I am one of the pediatric occupational therapists here at Best Art Clinic and today I'm doing this video to address one of the most frequent questions I get which is what, it, what exactly is an occupational therapist? What is the role of an occupational therapist? Another question I get asked a lot is are you guys like physiotherapists and no, we're different. So today I was hoping just to provide just a quick snapshot of what exactly an occupational therapist does. So, at our core, no matter what field an occupational therapist may work in, whether it's for children, uh, in mental health, uh, geriatrics, the hospital setting, rehabilitation, acute, subacute, the community, no matter what it is, at our core, we help people engage in meaningful and important occupations. It's in our job description, occupational therapist. So, what exactly do I mean by occupations. We refer to three occupations. One, self-care. Two, leisure. And three, productivity. So if we look at a child, for example, when we say self-care, we look at are they able to dress themselves? We look at feeding. We look at toileting. Um, we look at showering. All those independent living skills. That, so that's uh, self-care. We look at leisure. So leisure are activities that we enjoy engaging in. So for children, this is usually play. So play can involve floor time, so floor time play. This can involve play at the table, even play outside, such as sports or playing on the playground. And then we have three, productivity, which we usually refer to work for productivity, but I would hope to think your child's not working a full-time job. Not yet, not yet. Um, so usually when we say productivity for children, we, re for, we refer to school. So can your child engage in the classroom setting? Can they complete those uh, classroom tasks? Can they go outside and engage with their peers? So, saying that, my role as an occupational therapist is, if your child is having difficulty um, completing any of these you know, functional tasks or any of these occupations, my role would be to identify what exactly is going on for your child. Why are they having difficulties with these tasks because you've got to remember some of these tasks are very complex skills for example if we look at self-care for dressing to be able to simply dress yourself you need a lot of uh, foundational skills including you need good body awareness knowing where your limbs are in relation to one another you need good spatial awareness knowing where your body is in relation to gravity you need good uh, motor planning, you know, the ability to plan and sequence your movements. So if you're trying to put on your jacket, you need to be able to plan, okay, I'm going to put my right hand through here, my left hand through that, that sleeve, and then zip up my jacket. There's a lot of planning and sequencing involved. Uh, you need good core strength, you know, the ability to have a good posture and that good uh, trunk control. You also need good, you know, fine motor skills to do all those little fiddly tasks like zipping up your jacket and pushing in your buttons. So there is a lot of foundational skills involved with a functional task like dressing. Even if you look within the school setting, to be able to simply sit at a table, look on the board and write something down, that's a very complex task. Again, you need a lot of foundational skills. Just as I said before, you need good body awareness, good spatial awareness, uh, you need to be able to, again, look on the board, plan what you're going to do, and then write down what, you know, all the words, all those letters. It involves a lot of planning and a lot of sequencing. Again, to set at a table, you need good uh, trunk control, good core strength, uh, good posture. You need good shoulder stability, arm stability, wrist stability. You need good fine motor skills, hand strength, so you can hold your pencil correctly. It's a very, very complex skill. So, my role would, as an occupational therapist is to identify what areas your child might be having difficulties, what foundational skills might need to be addressed. So, I would come in and I would observe and assess those areas that might need to be addressed, those foundational skills. And once we have addressed those areas, we would then create an intervention plan or a treatment plan which will involve goals, uh, strategies, and activities to help improve your child's performance in these functional tasks. So again, this, is just, this video is just a quick snapshot of the role of an occupational therapist because we've just talked about occupations, uh, self-care, leisure, and productivity for children's school. Um, 
as occupational therapists, we also look at the individual level. We look at the child's uh, cognitive ability. We look at their affect. We look at their physical capabilities. We look at what's important and meaningful to that individual and the family. We also look at the environment because our environment can impact how we engage in these occupations, whether it's the home environment, the school environment, or within the community. So again, this video is just you know, to provide just a quick snapshot of the role of an occupational therapist. So if you guys like this video, please click that like button, comment below, and let me know what you thought of this video. Or let me know if you have any questions, or if you have any ideas what you would like the future videos to address. Because at the end of the day, these videos are here to support you guys, to support the parents, the families, so you can best support your child's development. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time here on our Facebook page at Best Start. See ya.